Death Becomes Her is now on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, released by Shout Factory. It can be found as a slipcover edition, available at your online retailers. It seems that every famous movie director has at least one movie that would qualify as underrated, and I firmly believe that Death Becomes Her falls under that category. For me, what works especially well are not only the visual gags, the floating nuns across the hallway, for instance, but some of the throwaway lines. The movie is very clever, excellent performances from the cast, and it holds up extremely well today. Death Becomes Her on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray has an aspect ratio of 185 to 1 with native 4K resolution, and it supports both HDR10 and Dolby Vision. For purposes of this review, I will be discussing the Dolby Vision transfer. According to Shout Factory, Death Becomes Her on 4K is the result of a transfer of the original camera negative. Now, wording is important, as nowhere does it indicate that a remaster, let alone a restoration, took place for this latest version on physical home media. I bring this up because while the source is relatively problem-free, it's not without a few blemishes. I noticed some general speckling and at least one instance of a vertical line plain as day. These could have easily been addressed if there was some sort of work done, but it is what it is. The opening credits aren't particularly representative of the overall image quality as they look a little worse for wear, which is typical in films of this age. Film grain appears unmanaged and retains its cinematic look nicely. Bit rates appear healthy with no noticeable dips during the runtime. Now that the film is in full 4K resolution, details do receive an appreciable enhancement. The film employs a bit of soft focus, almost dreamlike in its image, so it's not going to be razor sharp. Close-ups do look more defined, and even some of the era-specific special effects hold up to scrutiny. To my eyes, the real winner is the addition of Dolby Vision. The palette always looks good on previous home media releases, but here primaries just look that much more punchy and robust visually. One scene to pay close attention to is during the Helen and Madeline showdown in the vibrant red top that Helen wears or the red dress she's wearing a little earlier in the film. Ultimately, the entire palette benefits from Dolby Vision. It looks that much more enriching. When it comes to black levels, they're also very well rendered with appropriately dark night scenes and shadowy interiors are conveyed properly. Death Becomes Her on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray supports a DTS 5.1 as well as a DTS 2.0 stereo mix. It seems that a direct port of the previous audio tracks from Shout's earlier Blu-ray have made their way over to this new 4K. The 5.1 is not necessarily a bad mix, far from it, it's pretty enjoyable as the overall sound design does make for a good experience. The track though is more or less front focused with only bits of the film's score mostly taking up residency in the surrounds. There is some light ambience, thunder for instance, can also be heard but it's pretty minimal overall. Up front, however, the track is relatively strong with clear dialogue and in-film action is well represented. The LFE is subtle and its overall delivery is just so-so. It's not a film that necessarily warrants a heavy hand in this area, so it's not something I would lament over. There were no new extras included for this particular release, aside from the making of which was on the previous Shout Factory Blu-ray, which was new all the way back in 2016. There is also a vintage making of as well as a photo gallery. Overall, it's a rather limited amount of bonus materials. For the picture quality, I'm going to give Death Becomes Her on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray an A-. Admittedly, it's a bit disappointing that we didn't get a full-blown restoration. The 4K transfer itself, though, is still a nice upgrade over the Blu-ray, even though it's not a dramatic one. Dolby Vision is going to be the selling point here for many buyers, and to be fair, it does a great job enhancing the film's visual aesthetic. I do still think that this is an ideal pickup for new buyers, as well as those looking for an upgrade. For the audio, I scored it a B+. The film's DTS 5.1 is a rather basic by-the-numbers audio track for an early 90s comedy. It has some fun moments here and there, but it's not terribly dynamic, though Alan Silvestri's score has a great showing audibly. It's not an audio mix that's going to wow anyone, but it gets the job done. For the extras, I graded them a C-. Nothing new as far as bonus materials, and even the old ones are pretty lackluster. It doesn't look like this is going to please many fans looking for supplements, so adjust your expectations accordingly. So that is my review of Death Becomes Her on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray from Shout Factory. If you're interested in picking up a copy for yourself, I will leave a direct Amazon link in the comment section. But if you have the 4K desk already, let me know your thoughts down below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.